Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Parabellum Fishing. Today's gonna be a little different. It's raining outside, so I really can't get out there. But luckily, it's a rite of passage for every fishing YouTuber, I believe, to do an unboxing. So, while the rain is outside and I can't go fishing, at least FedEx delivered my package. Alright, so the only thing I did do was crack the seal. I didn't look at any of the baits yet. Toss that out of the way. So I'm sure if you're not familiar, <clears throat> excuse me, Monster Bass is a monthly subscription service. You uh, send them some money and they send you some baits. And sometimes they're great, sometimes not so much. I'm curious to see what this month got. Let's see. Get the paperwork out first. Now this is the uh, southern region. I know that makes a difference. Because one good thing about monster bass is that they they send you baits specific to your region um they always come a little brochure and then um there's they're having this big bass fishing championship thing uh we got a sticker i like this sticker let's see very cool can't go wrong with those colors ever like that and looks like I got a sticker for Z-Bait, which I'm guessing is in the bag. If I'm gonna do an unboxing, I got a really cool thing I gotta show you because the king of unboxing videos, well, I'll let him tell you. Hey guys, NRO Tony from No Redemption Outdoors. When I'm in the mood to do some hardcore badass fishing, Yosemite Sam and I always watch our favorite channel, Parabellum Fishing. Keep rocking the green pumpkin, and until we meet again. All right, so I don't know the best way to do this. Probably empty out the bag, which by the way, is probably one of the coolest parts about their subscription is the bag. Um, I don't like those boxes. They just pile up. I end up storing like fishing line in them or something, but for the most part, they're fairly useless. I use these all the time. And this one is a little different. It seems like they went from a sturdy material to like a really soft one. And now it seems like they've gone back to the, the stiffer plastic. And I like this better. This one is what works pretty well for me. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I don't believe they charge you for it. No. Uh, Monster Bass, reusable bait bag, they consider a bonus. So they're not charging you for that as far as what you get. Uh, the first thing on the list is the Kingfisher Customs Freak 1.5. 11.5 gram sexy shad. I'm looking to see if it has a diving depth. Oh, there it is, two to four feet. All right, so that's good. B BKK hooks. Oh, no, the mic works, so I shook it at the camera. We'll see how that goes. Cool rattle, not uh, not too loud. Kind of tinny, but with a thunk in there too. Not bad. And I like the pattern, Sexy Shad works. I'm pretty sure no matter where in the country you are, Sexy Shad is gonna work. That's a pretty cool looking little bait. Um, two to four feet diving depth, so it's definitely something I'll fish. Yeah, pretty happy about that one. Toss it off to the side. Let's see, all right, and that's, uh, well, wow. Okay, apparently that's worth 15 bucks. Um, it's cool bait. I don't know if it's a $15 cool bait. I don't think, well, I don't think I would have paid $15 for it. Um, if it was sitting in a tackle store next to, you know, a bait I was familiar with, I don't think I would have bought it. All right, moving on. For $8, we've got Bruiser Baits Bruiser Cruiser. Ah, right here. Okay, also in what looks like a sexy shad pattern, yeah. Well, it's a good thing I already said I like that pattern. This is uh, another two to four foot diving depth, half ounce. Let's see, this one make any noise? Yeah, much different than the other one. This one's got just a thud, thud, thud. This one's a little more tinny. So I tend to like the ones that rattle this way, the little tinny, or not the tinny, the, the more thud. Those are sticky hooks. That's really good. And bruiser baits, I don't think I've ever used one of their cranks, but I have used some of their uh, stick worms. And they're pretty good stuff. Nothing, uh, nothing wrong with that at all. So a bruiser bait is eight bucks. Which seems about right. I probably would pay eight dollars for a crankbait like that. It's pretty good. Blitz lures buzz frog. Let's see. 
All right, I think this is familiar. I think we've gotten these before. Um, it's a familiar looking frog. Super soft weedless blitz lures. It's uh, colors watermelon. Open it up for him. Two things to do with this stuff when you're opening these things for the unboxing. It's just getting in the way. I mean, yeah, it's pretty soft. It's definitely going to uh, compress when a fish bites. It, it's weird. It's almost see-through. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's almost like a see-through plastic. Uh, the color, again, I think I said was watermelon, but now I've thrown the package somewhere, so I have no idea. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Blitz Buzz Frog Watermelon Rattler is what it says. It's got these little kicky feet, so that's kind of cool. I imagine, I imagine it'd be really good if you're not really good at walking the dog or, um, you know, popping a frog or something like that. This, you can probably just cast and retrieve, and these little feet will do a lot of action. Um, yeah, and they're no longer than, actually, they're a lot shorter than a standard hollow body frog. Those, like, uh, tails that come off. Hooks are good and sharp. Okay, you know, I do like throwing a frog. Not bad. What do they want for this frog? Ten bucks. All right. That's, you know, pretty standard. Anywhere from, you know, six to twelve bucks. Pretty standard what I paid for a frog. So, not bad, not bad. Uh, next up is a Monster Bass Tournament Series Tungsten Jig. Monster Bass, obviously, being their own brand. Take a look at that. And this is a 3A sounds tungsten jig. Pretty sticky hook. Weed guard's decent. Not overly stiff. Seems like it'd do a good job. Um, I didn't see what color it was. It looks like, I would guess, like a peanut butter and jelly. Yep, yep, PB and J. Says it right there. So. And as far as monster bass, I mean, some people complain they throw their own branded stuff in the box, but you know, where the heck else are they gonna put it? You know, you don't I don't see these things in Bass Pro. And, uh, I mean, really, I don't fish jigs much, like I said, but this one I think I would fish. I like the hook on it. It's not crazy stout, but it's not going to bend out either. So I do like the hook. Does it say? i got to quit throwing this stuff. Let's see. Premium tungsten jig, three ace. A mustad hook. Okay, so yeah, makes sense. Good quality hook. And overall, yeah, I'm just pretty happy with that. It's a pretty good looking jig. I like it. Next, um, Z-Man TRD Cross. Uh, you can never go wrong with Z-Man. I don't think they make anything I don't like. Um, these are in Green Pumpkin, which can't go wrong with Green Pumpkin. And I actually, I've bought these before. I've used these before. These are great. Very finesse presentation. Probably go great on the back of a Ned rig, which is usually what I would like to throw them on. Um, or if you're using any kind of really small um, jig, like really tiny ones, this would be a good trailer. Uh, Z-Man Elastec floats anyway, so I'm, so these claws come right up in that little, you know, ah, gonna get you position. Like the sound effects, right? And then obviously you got the stretch of the Elastec. This stuff is crazy. So if you're not familiar with it, Z-Man makes amazing stuff. Next up is the Strike King KVD Rodent. Alright. Like a beaver style bait also in green pumpkin so another good color so you really can't go wrong with green pumpkin i think that pretty much works everywhere doesn't it that's a decent size bait you can pull these little guys here apart so those are flat big chunk of plastic this actually be really good probably as a flipping bait you punch right through the mat because it doesn't have a whole lot to get hung up on it's pretty streamlined i like that and green pumpkin kvd perfect plastics with coffee I gotta tell you guys, I'm a huge coffee fan. That does not smell like coffee to me. And I'm getting a lot of good name brands in this month. So that's not bad. And these rodents go for five bucks. I don't think I mentioned it. The craws are four fifty, And that all seems legit. Again, I didn't look through all this online to see if those are actual prices or not. But that all seems legit so far. What's next? Big Bite Baits. Big fan of these guys. They're inexpensive. And they make a lot of good stuff. This is the double tail skirted grub. Oh, that is funky. Look at this thing. 
Look at this. Crazy. It's got this like a tube type body, but it's solid. And it's got this little skirt. And then it's got these flappy appendages on top. That's pretty funky looking. I don't know what the heck I'd do with that. Maybe a is that maybe a shaky head, maybe a light Texas rig. I'm not sure what the heck I'd do with that. That's different though, and different is good. Where well, that looks pretty cool in the water. All right, and these are four and a half bucks. Big bite baits, and does it say? Uh, yeah, you get a ten pack. So another brand name. Um, it's one of the lower end, well, less expensive brand names. I'm not going to call them low end because I like big bite baits. I have no issues with them at all. Um, but still, good quality brand name thing. Uh, next is Super K Jigs Netheads. These Super K Jigs are pretty darn decent. They stand up good. The hook is a heavier gauge than um, some of the other ones on the market. And I do use them. Uh, pretty regular. I don't think I've ever purchased them myself, but I get them in these um, subscription boxes, and they're decent little little net hooks. And these are, does it say how heavy these are? It does not. Nowhere does it say how heavy these are. And that's, like, I guess, the one downside to some of these subscription services is that they get these baits, and you, you lose some information sometimes. This doesn't say how heavy they are, and I can't even venture a guess. Maybe I'll throw them on a scale later, see if I can figure it out. And, uh, oh, it looks like that was it. Okay, so the last thing. So, Super K Net Heads were three bucks. The uh, Big Bite Baits, those were four and a half. Then we got the Strike King Rodent, those were five bucks. Uh, then we got the Z Man TRD Cross at four and a half. The Monster Bass Jig, I don't think I mentioned that. They are saying this is worth six dollars, and I guess with the tungsten, probably. I know tungsten is expensive. Then we got that Blitz Frog, which is right here, uh, ten dollars. And again, yeah, I, that's probably pretty legit. Um, good quality frogs are gonna cost you money. I think one of my favorite frogs is the uh, 13 Fishing Trash Panda, and they're around 13 bucks a piece, and I love those. Uh, the Bruiser Baits, crank bait in the Sexy Shad, and that one was eight bucks. And then the, I guess the star of the show is the Kingfisher Customs, $15. It says new iCast product launch, so I guess you can't even get these yet. Not bad this month, actually. You know, it's they've been kind of, in my opinion, some of the last few months haven't been so great. But not too bad this month. I'm pretty happy with it. And they do make a note here that most of their um, price comparisons are from Tackle Warehouse, which is a pretty reliable source for pricing. Uh, their shipping is god-awful slow right now, at least. But, um, but good place to look if you're going to try to get their pricing. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this month's box. I think I paid 35 bucks for it, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to use, well, pretty much everything I can use in this box. I don't know how to rig these big bite baits, though. So if anybody has a thought on those, drop down and let me know. Because that is just a funky-looking critter. That probably isn't a wrong way to do it. I mean, I probably could throw it on a net head, too, I bet you. You know what I might do with one of them is bite these tentacles off. And just net hit it like that and let this skirt kind of dance up top i bet that'd be pretty cool so i'm going to try that i'm going to bite this piece off here just like that and i say bite but i'm not putting this in my mouth so that way that's what i'm left with and because you get a freaking 10 pack of these things it's okay to experiment but i think that i'm one of these super k jig heads little net heads i think that might work pretty well i might try that next time i go out uh leave a comment down below what do you think uh did Monster Bass crush it this month, or do you not think it was worth it? I'm personally pretty happy with this month, um, which isn't always true. I haven't been happy, you know, some past months, but this month, I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.